Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. We're back for another review. Given we're going to be short an item, so we're going to have to push that items, one of the items up to good old December, and we'll have to... Yeah, so we're going to Ollie's to pick up some Transformers, but we're going to be sure to review this week. So I went and got, pulled out a Mars converter as a backup review, given it's neither Autobot or Decepticon, but it is a Dinobot. But it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing this Power Core Combiner Dinobot. Before we look at the figure itself, we're going to look at the packaging. Click on the light so you can see the packaging on the camera. A nice product shot of this guy in his robot mode and his dino mode through his transformation, which is nice. And it's made by Happy Kids. Toys, warning, label, all that, a bunch of other information, product shot of the figure, even in robot mode, and they're Mars Converters, yep, converts, and his name is Bone Stego, I think that's the name they gave him, Bone Stego. So yeah, he's pretty cool. He's like a Stegosaurus. And you got the other figures they have in the line. I got this one, that one, and this one. But I don't have this one, that one, that one, or this one, or that one. But they're making quite a few in this Mars Converter line. And there's a lot of these to collect. So yeah, if you collect all of them, you have a complete collection of these things. That's all there is to say for the package in. Let's look at Bone Stego in his dino mode. Really nice painting, really nice sculpting with this figure. Not half bad for a Mars converter, if I do say so myself. That's all there is to say for the dino mode. He's got visible head syndrome. So let's get down to transforming him. First, Disconnect his tail. Which you just pull it out and it's a tail becomes a sword. Fold these up. Cory and his legs down. I've had plenty of time to memorize his transformation. Which is straightforward. If you know what I mean by straightforward. And there we got a leg. All done. Second verse. Just like the first, accordion and out. Flip out his toesies. To reveal his robot toesy feet. And then straighten it out like so. We get the legs all done. Second step, we're going to do the arms. First, pull this out. And that reveals his arm and his hand. Now we're going to get in there and loosen his hands out. You got to get in there with the fingernail. Here we got one arm. All done. Second verse, just like the first. Core unit out. Flip out his hands. And now we do the head, the dino head. We're going to flip that down. According to the box, it splits in two, like so. You can have it like this, but I like to leave the dino head sort of fold it in the back so I don't have to bother putting it back into its original mode. And now give him his sword of justice. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. And now he's ready for some Dinobot justice. Now for comparison. We're going to compare him next to another Mars converter. I got it's Glory Dragon. And Glory Dragon is another figure in this line of epic figures. 
I don't have all the Mars converters, but if I can find the others and track them all down, I will get a whole set of them because these guys are dynamite or dynamite as the saying goes. Yes, I got that from a singer guy. Here's Glory Dragon next to that. And they are the exact same size and scale. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Is a Transformers Mars Converter worth adding to your collection? Well, I think it is worth adding to anyone's collection because the Dinobots remind me of the Age of Extinction Dinobots. And... Glory Dragon reminds me of Predaking from Transformers Prime. And these are great figures, even though their heads are visible. Other than that, they're really worth the grab if you can find them. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.